George Bush just got served. White House videos stunning moments. George W. Bush's presidency library was dedicated Thursday in an event that brought the 43rd president back into the spotlight in a way he hasn't been since leaving office in 2009. Bush is experiencing something of a comeback in the mind of the American people, with nearly half, 47%, now approving of the job he did in office. With that in mind, we thought it was worth heightening Bush's seven best moments as presidents, moments that looked for now as thought they would be remembered by historians as successes. Below, we will heighten his first moment. The moments are ranked below with number one, seen as the time for which Bush will be most fondly remembered. Best. 7. His speech in Texas House after Bush vs. Gore was decided After the Supreme Court decided Bush vs. Gore in Bush's favor, the country remained at loggerheads over how had really, who had really won the election. With that uh, fractionist as the backdrop, Bush delivered a triumphant yet uh, gracious speech on the floor of the Texas House on December 13, 2000. I believe things happen for a reason, and I hope the long wait of the last five weeks will heighten a desire to move beyond the bitterness and partisanship of the recent past, Bush said. 6. The passage of Medicare Part D. The arm twisting over Bush's prescription drugs plan is famous in famous in political circles. The 50 minutes vote began at 3 a.m. on November 22, 2003, would up lasting about three hours and it was later revealed that House Majority Leader Tom DeLay offered to endorse a retiring congressman's son for his seat in exchange of a yes vote. No matter how the bill became law, polls now shows the program has bipartisan support and seniors like it very much. Conservatives still grip about the program cost, but as with uh, entitlement programs in general, Americans like it. 5. The President's Emergency Plans for AIDS Relief PERFAR The passage of PERFAR in 2003 was Bush's big entry into combating the global AIDS epidemic and few things have uh, garnered him such praise from all sides of the political spectrum. After spending $50 billion over the first five years, the program was renewed in 2008. A 2009 Stanford University study found that the program saved a million lives in Africa and HIV AIDS rates declined by 10% in countries that received funding. 4. The Trouble Asset Relief Program TARP Bailout We just got through an election in which Bush's uh, stewardship of the economy wasn't exactly a feather in the GOP's cap, to put in uh, mildly. But with the market crash occurred on his watch and conservatives still aren't happy about bailing out the big banks or anyone else, economists are setting around the idea that the TARP bailout that Bush successfully pushed for avert an even worse crisis. The period itself will never be looked upon as Bush's finest and it could have been worse isn't exactly something you put on your tombstone. But Bush closed out his tenure by securing a thought bipartisan deal that many say averted catastrophe. 3. The Iraq Surge It remains to be seen how Iraq emerges from the decade-long war there, but at one point it seemed all was lost. With the war dragging on and thousands of Americans dying, Bush in 2007 did something political, risky and unpopular. He asked for more troops, the so-called surge would up uh, working in the minds of the American people with a 2010 CNN opinion research poll showing 60% thought it was a success and 33% calling it a failure. President Obama even acknowledged 
at the tail end of the 2008 campaign that the surge was working beyond anyone's expectation. Iraq was never Bush's strong point, particularly when it came to the weapon of mass destruction, justification for war. But as with TARP, he may well have avoided an even worse situation by doing something that wasn't popular at the time. Number 2. The Capture of Saddam Hussein On December 13, 2003, the former Iraqi leader was pulled out of what he has been compared to a rat hole in a altogether cathartic experience for the American people. A trial ensued and the Hussein was hanged and now the former dictator of Iraq will face the justice he denied to millions, Bush declared. The capture of this man was crucial to the rise of a free Iraq. 1. The bullet horn speech at Ground Zero there three days after 9-11. His address to a joint session of Congress on September 20, throwing out the first speech a strike at Yankee Stadium at October 30. Moments of great tragedy are also moments where leaders emerge. Bush's presidency began with a huge moment after which he kitted himself very well and soared in popularity to almost unheard of heights. Bush's handling of September 11, 2001 was what in the end gave him a second term in office. A Bush's biggest success in the minds of the American people is that the country wasn't attacked once during the remaining seven years of his tenure. Worst 7. The Plame Affair the 2003 week of Valerie Plame's identity as a covert operative in the CIA consumed the administration for months and led to a rift between Bush and then Vice President Cheney during his second term. After Bush refused to pardon Cheney's former Chief of Staff Scott Leiby in connection with the case. It later turned out that the source of the leak was Deputy Secretary of State Richard Armitage who said he leaked her identity accidentally, but many saw it as politically motivated, given that Payne's husband, former Ambassador John Wilson, had questioned the administration's case for going to war on Iraq. 6. The 2006 Thumping The 2006 midterm election left Bush the lamest of the lame ducks for his final two years, in large part because of what were perceived as the failures in his administration. Democrats won both the House and the Senate, along with a majority of governorship, the first time they had a majority of all three since the 1994 Republican Revolution. Bush summed it all up as a press conference, calling it a thumping.